in the previous lecture we have discussed standard limits uh, another standard limit is there look at that standard limit Extends to zero. Log of one plus x by x equal to one. Log of one plus x to the base e divided by x equal to one. Actually, this limit is of the form if you substitute zero. 0 by 0. 0 by 0. So if logarithm is there, 1 must be there. After 1, whatever it is there, that is x. So this x, whatever it is there, that must be in the denominator. And that x must tend to 0. Then this limit is 1. Always exist 1. And after that, function will be there. In terms of x, that x must be there. And then that x must tend to 0. So instead of x, f of x will be there sometimes. Limit f of x tends to 0. Ln divided by f of x equal to 1. Look at 1 plus f of x is there, f of x and that f of x will tend to 0. Always whenever ln given means log to the base e. This is short symbol of that. Ln means log to the base e. So look at how to apply this rule. Limit extends to 0. Suppose it is given like this. 1 plus 3x minus 1 minus 3x divided by x. Suppose you have to evaluate this limit. Right? So, log to the base e is there. Log to the base e is there. Now, write separate limits for this. minus 1 minus, let us say some other number, 1 minus 5x divided by x. Actually, what is the formula? 1 plus f of x divided by f of x. Multiply and divide by 3. Multiply and divide by 3. Multiply and divide by minus 5. This now look at this is f of x. If x tends to 0, this 3x tends to 0. If x tends to 0, 3x tends to 0. This minus 5x tends to 0. That means this is a form limit f of x tends to 0. Log of 1 plus x, uh, 1 plus f of x divided by f of x. That's value is what? 3. 1 into 3 minus of minus 5. So, answer is what? 8. Like that, you have to re-exist. Suppose, take another example. Limit extends to 5 by 2. Secant x into ln 1 plus 2 cos x. Take this example. Take this example. Secant x into ln 1 plus 2 cos x. Now I am writing this secant x as 1 by cos x. Divided by cos x. Actually, 1 plus this inter this is x 2 cos x. That means 1 plus x divided by x must be there. That's why multiply and divide by 2. 
Now it is like 1 plus f of x divided by f of x. Now x tends to pi by 2. If x tends to pi by 2, 2 cos x tends to what? Tends to 2 into cos pi by 2, 0. That means it is a form 1 plus log of 1 plus f of x divided by f of x. f of x tends to 0. That means this limit is what? 1. So 1 into 2. That is 2. That is how to apply this limit. Just simple, 1 plus after that whatever it is there, multiply and divide. Already cos x is there, multiply and divide by 2. <laughs> Next, look at further application. limit x tends to 0 1 plus log cos x to the base cos x by 2 whole square he is asking the limit of this whole square. Right? Look at this. Limit extends to 0, 1 plus this square, 1 plus this square and then complete square. Now this limit he is asking to calculate. Where is the function actually? This is the function. So limit is regarding function only. That means this limit is nothing but where the function is there you apply the limit. 1 plus just apply the limit because limit is regarding x. Limit x tends to 0 log cos x cos x by 2 whole square whole square. That means this limit if you evaluate, if you got the value then you can calculate the remaining. So, let us take this limit. So, as logarithm is there, logarithm is limit application this is. So, now I am taking this limit. Limit extends to 0. Log cos x to the base cos x by 2. This limit I will evaluate. Now, according to logarithm property, log a to the base e can be written as log a to the base e divided by log b to the base e. Whenever log a to the base b is there, you can write like this. That means I am writing limit x tends to 0 log cos x to the base e divided by Denominator function is there. I am writing. I am writing separate limit for that. This you can write like this. This. So now, if you look at logarithm cos x is there. Now, what is the formula? Log of one plus x. One is not there. One you adjust. One add and subtract. If not there, you add one and delete one. So log. You are just like this. Look at 1 plus cos x minus 1. I have adjusted like that. In place of x, cos x minus 1. I am multiplying and dividing by that. Cos x minus 1 into. Right? This in the denominator, in the denominator also same manner. One added, one deleted. This. Now, if you look at this one, 
This is log of 1 plus x divided by x. This cos x minus 1 is there. If x tends to 0, cos x minus 1 tends to 0. That means this limit is what 1. This limit is what 1. Because if x tends to 0, cos x by 2 minus 1. That tends to 1 minus 1, 0. So therefore this limit is 1. This limit is 1. The remaining you write. Limit x tends to 0. Cos x minus 1. If you take minus common, you will get minus 2 sin square x by 2. Divided by limit x tends to 0. Minus 2 sin square a by 2 means x by 2 divided by 2. This, so therefore, now you got the sine form. Sine form means try to adjust the standard limit. Divided by what must be there? x by 2 whole square into x by 2 whole square. That's the way done standard limit x by 4 whole square into x by 4 whole square. Now this is standard limit 1, this is standard limit 1. Therefore, the remaining is what? x square by 4 divided by this. That means you will get the answer 16 by 4, 4. That means this limit value is what 4. Therefore, your required answer is nothing but 1 plus 4 square to the power square. That means 17 square. That means this is nothing but 289. So, very important model like this. Log of A to the base B form. Log of A to the base B form. Whenever I am telling important note down, sorry, like star. In the examination, how to get good marks is before the exam, thoroughly revising the notes and whatever important has been told. And after the DPP, I am giving. From yesterday, I am giving separate section for examination oriented problems. Section 1 is conceptual problems, improving your basics. And section 2 is completely examination oriented problems. You see those more examination oriented problems, must and should you must do. In the next week, we will check how many problems you got in the exam in the notes as well as DPP. You look at. Then you will understand your fault or my fault. Okay, na? Just check in the next week. Whatever I have told and whatever I have given DPP, I will, I will tell you how many marks you got. Look at this week you check. You do completely like this, you will definitely good mark, get good marks. That is easy way to do. Look at next. This is about log of 1 plus x divided by x as x tends to 0. Next, we will come to the next concept. <coughs> next concept is series. Series. By using series, some series will be there. You can easily solve the problems regarding limits. Look at this series. I will list, I will list some formula for this. Look at series formula, there are few formula you have to remember. e power x series is, whenever e power x is there in the limit, you substitute this formula.
for e power x formula is this no need of proof of this it is not in syllabus just for solving the problems whenever e power x is there this is just like this this is x power 0 divided by 0 factorial that means 1 x power 1 divided by 1 factorial x square by 2 factorial x cube by 3 factorial and so on suppose you want e power 2x just you replace x by 2x that means 1 plus 2x by 1 factorial, 2x whole square by 2 factorial, 2x whole cube by 3 factorial and so on. e power x rule. e power minus x alternate plus minus. Just you replace minus x in the above one. Alternate plus minus. Plus and so on infinite series. This is e power x series. Next is third. Ln log of 1 plus 6 to the base e. Whenever you got log of 1 plus 6 to the base e, formula is x minus x square by 2. No factorial here. Plus and so on infinity. This series will be defined only when x lies between minus 1 to 1. So whenever log of 1 plus x to the base e is there, you write like this. No need of, don't write factorial, normal numbers. So this is log of 1 plus x to the base e. Whenever you got log of 1 minus 6 to the base e, this is the formula. Minus of x plus x square by 2, x cube by 3, plus and so on infinity. This series will be defined when x lies between minus 1 to 1. Right? Just here in place of x minus 6 you substitute you will get this. So minus of complete plus here. This is log of 1 minus x. Next. Trigonometric series will be there. Sin x is nothing but x power 1 divided by 1 factorial. Wherever sin x is there, like this you will get. This. Right? Only odd powers with alternate plus minus sign. x power 1 divided by 1 factorial minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus x power 7 by 7 factorial and so on. This is the one. So next, cos x. All even powers. So, first 1 minus x square by 2 factorial on even powers. First one is what? x power 0 by 0 factorial, that is 1. Minus x square by 2 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial and so on with alternate plus minus sign and even powers. So this is about cos x series. Next tan x. Tan x there is no similarity. But few terms you can remember. Few terms for solving the problems. There won't be any similarity here. x cube by 3 plus 2 by 15 x power 5 till here you remember plus till 7 you remember enough. These numbers you have to remember by solving the problems. x x cube by 3 2 by 15 x power 5 11 by 3 15 x power 7 not necessary just these 3 you remember or otherwise 4 that's all. So tan x that is so next is Inverse functions will be called. Inverse functions. 
साइन इनवर्स एक सीरीज इज देयर दिस इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट x प्लस वन बाई टू इंटू एक्स क्यूब बाई थ्री प्लस वन बाई टू इंटू थ्री बाई फोर इंटू ऑल ऑर्ड पॉवर्स एक्स पॉवर फाइव बाई फाइव लाइक दैट यू विल गेट वन बाई टू इंटू थ्री बाई फोर इंटू थ्री बाई फोर इंटू फाइव बाई सिक्स Into x power seven by seven and so on infinity. This is the series you have to remember. X one by two into x cube by three one by two into three by four. Right? This two added, this two added. X power five by five one by two two added three two added four two added five two added six x power seven by seven and so on infinity. Right, so no need of cos inverse formula. There won't be any similarity. Cos inverse six, whenever needed, you write pi by two minus cos inverse x, pi by two minus sine inverse x, pi by two minus sine inverse x. Then you write sine inverse x formula. Next. Tan inverse x series is there. You look at tan inverse x series is there. Tan inverse x the series is x cube by three. Similarity will be there for this. Like this. Tan x tan inverse x series x minus x cube by three plus x power five by five. Minus x power seven by seven and so on. Cot inverse six no need of uh, series. Cot inverse six is nothing but pi by two minus tan inverse six and then we will substitute this. In inverse functions we have learned cot inverse six is pi by two minus tan inverse six. This is the series of inverse functions and then one more series is the very important. One plus six whole to the power one by x. Look at one plus six whole to the power one by x. This series, this series is very important. On this series, you will get definitely question in the weekend. So in the eight you also ask from e to one minus x by two. One minus x by two plus eleven by twenty. x square till here you remember plus n of and so on in e into no need of proof of this e into 1 minus x by 2 plus 11 by 24 x square minus and so on infinity till here you remember so these are the series now how to use in limits we will see the we will see the models look at How to evaluate easily limits by using the series method? This is the most important concept in limits. Limit extends to zero. Suppose the problem is given like this: sin x minus x plus x cube by six divided by Divided by x power five. Divided by x power five. Okay, like this problem is there. Now use the series of sine x. Sine x, you know the series. Just substitute that. What is the sine x series? X minus x cube by three factorial. Plus x power five by five factorial. Till till which step you have to write? Means here denominator x power n is there, x power five is there. Till that and one more step. Just just bigger than that you write. Just bigger than that. Was enough. Here x power five is there. Now till here and then one more step. 
so minus x plus x cube by 6 divided by x power 5 divided by x power 5 now look at this x will get cancelled this, this is minus x cube by 3 factor it means 6 this will get cancelled now strike off and then remaining terms are there remaining terms in the remaining terms this is x power 5 x power 7 and then x power 9 will be there in completely x power 5 common x power 5 you will get common what you will get 1 by 1 by factorial minus x square divided by 7 factorial then next what you will get is actually x power 9 will be there x power 4 by 9 factor and so on like that from here all the terms will contain x this is cancelled now this is constant from here every term will contain x now after striking of the denominator you substitute zero value zero value means this is constant 1 by 125 factorial these all terms will contain x if we substitute zero you will get 0. That means it will be finite limit like this. Finite limits. Because x is there in all the terms. Now if you substitute 0, what happens? Every term will become 0. Like that, whenever series is there, you apply that. And these terms you rearrange. How to write is in the denominator x power n will be there. Just more than that till that you write series. Then strike off the numerator and then substitute that value then you will get the value that is how to use the series so limits evaluation by using series will be easy suppose you take another example limit extends to zero e power x minus one minus x divided by 2 divided by tan cube x. Let us take this one. Let us take this one. Always, always denominator you make it like x power n. Always. Nothing must be there. x power n. Now tan x or sin x is there. You rearrange this. y x cube into x cube. That means then this will become what? 1. Then in the denominator what is there? x cube is there. In the denominator, you have x cube. Like that you rearrange. No need to write tan x series. In the denominator, you in the denominator you readjust that. Right? That means limit extends to 0. Now x cube is there. You write that series. One more than that. X cube is there. Divided by X cube. This, this will be easy if X power N is there. So 1 got cancelled. X got cancelled. X square by 2 got cancelled. The remaining terms is there. You take the factor common. X cube factor common. x cube into 1 by 3 factorial plus x square by 5 factorial plus and so on divided by x cube this so therefore these all terms will contain x that means 1 by 6 limit substitute 0 1 by 6 plus 0 that means limit is what 1 by 6 like that easily you can evaluate Look at next more. 
first model is very important limit extends to zero one plus six to the power one by x minus e the c x by two divided by divided by x square divided by x square this you want So now I have told the series of that. I have told the series of this. Just substitute the series. Limit extends to zero. One plus six to the power one by x. What is that? E into three terms. I told. Look at the series. S eleven by twenty four. Eleven by twenty four x square. No need of remaining. Minus e plus e x by two. This. So now look at this is e and this is e into one e minus e x by two plus e x by two cancel. From here terms will be there. From here terms will be there. So then here x square next x cube like that will be there. So e is there. Limit extends to zero. From here onwards, you take x square common, eleven by twenty-four. Plus after that, terms containing x will be there. Terms containing definitely there will be x terms. Next x cube, next term you will get x, and then terms containing x divided by x square. So this and this cancel. Now if we substitute zero, these all terms will become zero. That means what is the answer? E into 11 by 24. So 11 e by 24. That is the answer. That is the answer. That is how to use this series. Hey. A symbol is better though. Answer it, dear Roma. So next one. Limit x tends to zero. Like this, it is given. E minus e power e power divided by. Divided by tan x. This limit you have to evaluate. Here, what is given is e power. In the power itself, it is there. Log of one plus six to the base e divided by x. In the power itself, it is there. Now, what I am doing is what I am doing is look. Okay. We have the formula. Always remember a to the power log x to the base a. Logarithm formula. A to the power log x to the base a is x. If this and this is same, then x. Similarly, in calculus we will get number of times this one is what x. E to the power log x to the base e is x. So now I am readjusting this one. Limit extends to zero. E minus this one. It is like this. 
it is like this divided by now here i am writing tan x by x into x tan x by x into x this is 1 now this 1 by x i am bringing to the power e minus e to the power always write like e power log e then that complete function that complete function divided by tan x by x is 1 that is x now look at e to the power log this complete is x log x to the base e is what x this is the answer that means you have got to the series form that means limit x tends to 0 e minus 1 plus x to the power 1 by x divided by x divided by x now what is the series if you substitute here you will get 0 by 0 0 by 0 now write the series e minus so what is the series of this one e into 1 minus x by 2 divided by x divided by x now this e and then minus e will get cancelled now what is the common here common is x that means you are getting limit x tends to 0 minus e x i have taken x from here minus 1 by 2 this 11 by 24 x and so on infinity divided by x that means what is the answer so minus e minus e substitute 0 minus 1 by 2 plus all the terms will become 0 what is the answer e by 2 the answer is e by 2 Remember this rule of logarithm. Next unit. Very important moment. This also. Limit extends to zero. He will modify and give not direct problem. Minus cos x is given minus cos x divided by x cube into sin x into sin x look at this one so now this is not in direct uh, series series model but it can be converted to series model look at always denominator x power n i am multiplying and dividing with x first eliminate that sin x so divided by x power 4 is there. Now for this I am writing the formula cos c minus cos d transformation formula. What is that? Let us revive cos c minus cos d is nothing but in transformation formula. Minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2. First we will write that in the, in the numerator. minus 2 sin c plus d by 2 that means sin x plus x by 2 
c minus d by 2 c is this d is this divided by divided by x cube divided by x cube so whenever sin is there we will use the standard limit standard limit is what sin x by x equal to 1 rearrange that sin of sin x plus x by 2 sin x by x means I am multiplying and dividing. Look at the logic I am using. Into always sin theta is there. You multiply and divide by theta. Whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. You multiply and divide it by this. I am multiplying. This is sin x by x 1 into next one is also same. Yes. So I have adjusted sin theta by theta 1, sin theta by theta 1 divided by whole divided by x cube is there. Right? Now this is 1, this is 1. So therefore what is the remaining you write? So sin x, this 2, 2 minus 2 by 4. So no need to write a plus b into a minus b. Keep it like this. Keep it like this divided by x cube. Keep it like this. Now it is ready to write the series now. It will be easy. Enter. Do I export 4? Export 4. Export 4, right. Export 4. Okay, right. So now it is ready to write the series because sin x is the x in it is the problem is ready to write the series. So now write the series you will get easy. So minus 1 by 2 into limit extends to 0. Limit extends to 0. Sin x is nothing but what is the series you write? x minus x cube by just one more than this x power 5 by 5 factor f bus no need to write the remaining one more than this this infinity infinity plus x this complete plus x this again you write sin x series here x minus x cube by 3 factor f x power 5 by bus till here and divided by divided by x power 4 x power 4 right so now look at this x plus x rearrange minus 1 by 2 into x plus x 2x Minus this minus x in this x and this x will get cancelled. What is the remaining? What is the remaining? This divided by what is there here? x power 4. Right? Now, from this completely you are getting x common to minus x square divided by 3 factorial Now from here x cube common, whatever the common is there you take out. This, so now after this, 
divided by x power 4. This, this, this we get cancelled. Now new denominator is over. Now substitute 0. Substitute 0, this will become 2. All are zeros. So this will become minus 1 by 6. So therefore answer is what? 1 by 6 like that. Apply transformation and then apply standard limit. Then sin x series you write. Practice shape of the Practice shape of the doubts are gali. The roar ke vini would list the nakost on the rose. Rose rose can all be root in the mijote. Naga me vergali. The chala jataka chayali study over law. Next model. Okay. Suppose for model or inverse functions we will see how to use limit extends to zero sine inverse x minus tan inverse x divided by x cube equal to dash x cube equal to dash now we have the sine inverse x rule sine inverse x rule is there just you substitute that rule sine inverse x rule i have to so x plus what is that x plus 1 by 2 into x cube by 3 plus one more 1 by 2 into 3 by 4 into x power 5 by 5 plus and so on infinity. This I told. Sine inverse x series I told. Next tan inverse x is what? x minus x cube by 3. Don't write factorials. Factorials will be there for only sin x cos x e power x e power minus x for the remaining normal numbers. Okay, this is divided by this is divided by x cube. Right now, arrange the take the common terms in the numerator. So x x got cancelled. Next highest is what x cube. Take common. So x cube, if you take common, you will get 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3. Next x power 5, if you take common. Here is there, here is there. You have to take common before striking off. So this is what 3 divided by 40. 3 divided by 40 minus 1 by 5. Minus 1 by 5 plus and so on. Not necessary those. Divided by x cube. Divided by x cube. Now take x cube common and strike off. So 1 by 6 plus 1 by 3 x square into some number and for these all contains x terms x cube that the x cube is over this now if you substitute 0 what you will get 1 by 6 plus all the terms will become 0 that means what is the LCM here 1 plus 2 3 by 6 answer is what 1 by 2 like that, how to use the series? <laughs> next, next mode.
Let's look at one concept. If f of x is a polynomial is a polynomial f of x is a polynomial and if limit x tends to suppose let us say it is limit of is of the type x power n limit is of the type x power n right limit is of the type x power n this and if limit is finite given limit is finite given finite means what finite number 2 3 any real number 0 but not infinite you won't get infinity right limit is finite means any finite number you will get suppose it is given like this limit x tends to 0 f of x divided by x power n is finite for this type of models what you have to do is f of x is a polynomial that means so look at what you have to do is make all coefficients of x powers of f of x till till x power n minus 1 equal to 0 in the numerator polynomial will be there it is like it is like x power 1 x square x cube like that polynomial will be there in that all coefficients of x powers till here x power n is there suppose let us say x power 5 is there if this is finite given you make x power 5 means x power 5 means you make x power 0 coefficient equal to 0 x power 1 coefficient equal to 0 x power 2 coefficient equal to 0 x power 3 coefficient equal to 0 x power 4 coefficient equal to 0 i will tell by telling the example okay and limit x tends to 0 value this limit value equals to coefficient of x power n in f of x coefficient of x power n in f of x in the numerator suppose this is x power 5 in the numerator x power 5 coefficient will be there value finite given what is that limit value you will get is here x power 5 means you will get x power 5 coefficient look at the above example x cube means what is the limit value you got x cube term whatever will be there coefficient this is 1 by 6 always you will get the limit x cube term here x cube means here x cube term all the terms will remaining will become zero so that limit you will get look at i will tell an example you understand whenever this is given this is given and the limit is finite given here you look at the degree degrees less than this will be zero equate to zero then what is the limit value is whatever the coefficient x power n is there in the numerator that x power n coefficient will be the finite limit value look at the example you will understand Look at the example. In this example, you will understand. If f of x is a quadratic polynomial. 
is a quadratic polynomial and given that limit extends to 0 f of x divided by x squared equal to 1 equal to 1 find f of x comma f of 3 f of x comma f of 3. Look at here. This limit is given as 1. This limit is given as 1. Right? That means take f of x as this. Quadratic means how it will be. Take this. Whatever the degree he is telling, take that ax square plus bx plus c. bx plus c. Now this is 1 means what? Limit is given finite. This limit is finite value, is finite, right? That means this limit cannot be infinite because 1 is given finite value. Now, look at, substitute this. ax squared plus bx plus c divided by x squared. So, this is finite. Now, what you do is split this. Always you write like this to have a clear idea. A plus A x square by x square plus B by x plus C by x square. C by x square. Now given that this limit is finite, this limit is finite. If we substitute 0, this A, B by 0, C by 0, you will get. So suppose let us say, look at this b is not equal to 0. Suppose this b is 2. 2 by x will be there. This c is 3. 3 by x square will be there. Then this, if this is 2, like this it is there. If these terms will be remaining, what happens? If you substitute 0, this is a. This will become infinity. This will become infinity. infinity. That means if, we, if in the denominator x remains, then what happens? If these constants above are not zeros, what happens? Limit will become infinite. It will not become 1. Right. That means definitely in the denominator x term is there means equate that to 0. Wherever x term is there, equate the numerator to 0. That means these definitely must be 0. These definitely must be 0. Otherwise what happens? If they are not zeros, a plus infinity plus infinity. This will become infinity limit. But limit is given 1. So therefore b equal to 0, c equal to 0. Now these terms are zeros. Therefore, what is the limit value? Limit value is nothing but a. Limit value, this is limit value. Limit value. But it is given 1. So therefore a equal to 1. And b equal to 0, c equal to 0. Look at that's what I told in the above theorem. In the above statement, what I told, this is polynomial, this is polynomial. Right, x square is there. Less than x square terms, what are there? x, less than x, less than x square means this term and this term. Coefficients are what? b equal to 0, c equal to 0. Then this is 0, this is 0 means limit what it will become a x square divided by x square that is a. That is nothing but 1 is given. Because already finite is given limit. Like that, that theorem, theorem if you want to apply means x square is there. Less than x square whatever the terms are there, select that. And then equate the coefficients to 0. Right? This directly. And the limit is what? If these are zeros, a x square by x square. Coefficient of x square will be the limit. Or otherwise, if you don't want to remember the theorem, write like this, split this, split this. You analyze if this term and this term are there, then it will become infinite. Then, wherever the x terms are remaining, that numerator equal to 0. This is easy. If you want to understand, if you understand that you can apply. Or otherwise, split like this and equal to 0. So, this is 0, this is 0. This contains no x term. That means that value will be the limit. That value will be the limit and that is given 1. Okay.
So therefore, a equal to one, b equal to zero, c equal to zero. What is f of x then? What is f of x? This is nothing but x square. So therefore, what is f of three? Is nothing but nine. This is the one. Like that. When polynomial divided by x power n, limit is finite given. Let us look at these models. So the problems will be given like this. The most uh, important area in this chapter, if limit extends to zero, limit extends to zero, what is given is sine x, sine x. Plus a sine two x divided by x cube. This limit is finite. Given that this limit is finite, then find a comma limit value. Limit value. Just look at this. He will give that one limit. He will give in that variables will be there. You have to find those variable and also limit value. Look at this. Now divided by x power n is there. Divided by x power n is there, right? So then series, series you write. You have to express this as polynomial. Limit extends to zero. Sine x formula you write. X minus x cube by three factorial. One more. Because x cube is there, and so on infinity. Plus a into sine two x means what? In this formula, two x. Two x minus two x whole cube divided by three factorial plus. 2x whole power 5 divided by 5 factorial and so on infinity divided by x cube, right? So numerator we arrange starting from lowest power. You will write look at limit extends to zero. Limit extends to zero. First is x. X. What is the common? 1 plus 2a into x into x. Next is what highest x cube. X cube you take common here minus one by three factorial. Minus one by three factorial here. Here look at this. If you multiply this with this, minus minus. So minus a into this is what actually minus eight by six. Minus eight by six means minus four by three. Into a, into a. Next is what x power five. X power five into I am taking common x power five. What you will get here one by five factorial plus here what you will get a into. You write no need to simplify. You write like this you know, into x power five plus and so on infinity. Write like polynomial. This divided by x cube. Divided by x cube. When after arrangement you split this, you split this. Limit extends to this divided by x cube. What is that? One plus two a divided by divided by x square. This. So next is what? This divided by this. Minus one by six. Minus. 4a by 3. This does not contain any x. So next, divided by x cube means what? No need to simplify this. Keep it like this. Into x square 
and after that every term will contain x x power 5 means next to what you will get x power 7 like that you will get there won't be any x in the denominator now look at this one this expression this only contains in the denominator this does not contain any x in the denominator these terms will not contain any x in the denominator now limit is finite given limit is finite given means look at so this contains x term in the denominator equate that to 0 that must be definitely 0 if this is not 0 let us say this value is 5 what happens this is 5 by x square this will become infinity and this value is there this will become what 0 that means infinity plus this value will become infinity limit that means whatever whatever the term x term is having in the denominator equate that to 0 so therefore a value is what if that limit has to be finite a value is what a value is minus 1 by 10 limit value look it limit value is nothing but limit value is nothing but this is already 0 huh? this is 0 now substitute 0 this is 0 substitute 0 this you will get and these terms are zeros limit value is what if it is limit is finite then limit value is this constant this that means a is minus 1 by 2 substitute here this that means you will get minus 1 plus 4 divided by 6 that means 3 by 6 that means 1 by 2. So this is the limit value. That finite limit value will be there. He has not given limit value. That limit is what? 1 by 2. Like that simple. Denominator x power n must be there. Numerator by substituting the series you convert like a polynomial. And rearrange the terms. And split this this contains no x, this will be the limit value. So then this contains x square, x cube and so on. Only this term contains in the denominator. That means this value must be definitely 0. Otherwise limit cannot be finite. So equate that you will get the variable and limit value is nothing but this value. Okay. Like that, here one variable is there. He will give two or three variables. Limit is finite, find a, b, c. Like that. Now here I have done split it now. You can do in this way. Look at you can do in this way. Here x cube is there, x cube is there. What are the terms that are less than x cube? Only this. Equate this to zero. Equate this to zero directly. X cube less than x cube degree terms. What are there? This 1 plus 2a equal to 0. This is over a equal to minus 1 by 2. What is the limit? That x cube coefficient is there. This, that is the limit. That's what theorem I told you. If you have any confusion, split like this. Very easy. Look at next model. If limit extends to 0, a e power x minus b cos x plus c e power minus x divided by x sin x. These two, without giving finite, he will give limit value. Limit value is to find a, b, c. Conference also you will give in this model. Find A, B, C. Right? Previous problem I have given limit is finite. And calculated limit finally. But here given limit is 2. Right? So that means this limit is finite. Given limit is finite. 
so limit is finite given two is given means what limit is finite given now what i am doing is immediately you convert denominator to the form x power n i am multiplying and dividing with x multiplying and dividing with x standard limit 1 in the denominator x square so look at so you should limit x tends to 0 substitute the series so a into 1 plus x by 1 factorial denominator x square is there you write one, more than that 1 3 factorial plus and so on infinity this is e power x series i have written e power x series minus b into right cos x series 1 minus x square divided by 2 factorial 1 1 degree more than that more than numerator till here over so plus c into plus c into e power minus x 1 minus x by 1 factorial Plus and so on infinity series written divided by what is there x squared x squared right so now arrange the terms first x power zero constants what are the constants a here minus b here plus c so a minus b plus c this is x power zero So next x comes till x cube one more than this. So one more than this. So that means here what you will get x terms a by one factorial a. So x terms here there are no x terms and then here there are x terms a minus c by one a minus c into x a minus c into x. So next x square terms x square terms are what here. Look at a by 2 factorial a by 2. So here what is the term? This into this b by 2 b by 2. Here x square terms c by 2 into x square. One more term you write. One more term x square. Next x cube. What is here? A by 6. A by six minus c by six. Here there is no x cube term. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. This divided by x square divided by x square like this. So x power zero, x power one, x square, x cube. This now you split. One method is I am splitting. Look at comfortable method. A minus b plus c divided by x squared plus a minus c divided by x plus this divided by x squared means what you will get? Constant you will get plus this divided by x squared means what you will get? X will be remaining like that. From here onwards, x will be remaining. Right, these all terms contain x terms. Right, now in the denominator, what are there? In the denominator, this term is contained, this term is contained. Immediately, numerator equal to zero because these terms, if they are there, non-zero, then limit will become infinite. So these are two conditions. These are two conditions, and then this is this must be zero. This must be zero. Limit value, limit value is nothing but constant. Limit value is given to. So, what is limit value? Limit value is what? This constant. This is zero. This is zero. These are all zeros. That means limit value is nothing but this. A by two plus b by two plus c by two. This is given to. This is given limit value to. Therefore, a plus b plus c is what? Four. This is third equation. Now everybody, one, two, three, solve one. Tell A, B, C. First, tell A, B, C. What are the values you will get? Now 
ఈజీ ఉంది What are the values of one? Three equations are there, three variables are there. You can easily solve A, B, C. That's not like that. ఇంద్ర ఎవరు ఈజీయే కదమ్మా What are the values? Enter and enter both not in the row. So on easy, a equal to C. You can substitute J in the A equal to C. A equal to C here. That means 2A minus B equal to 0. B equal to 2A from the set from the first equation. B equal to 2A. So in, use the third equation. A, A plus 2AC is A. That means 4A equal to 4. A equal to 1. A equal to 1 means C is what? 1. B is what? 2 over 2. B is 2. Those are the values. Just after getting the equations, you solve A, B, C. You will ask in, in the comprehension, what is A, one question? What is B, one question? What is C, one question? Like that, limit is finite. One model previously we have done. And then he will ask the limit. In this problem, he has given the limit value. Finally, these X terms are the equate this to zero. Two equations. And then limit value is nothing but this constant. So that is nothing but two given. Three equations. Okay. Real answer is here. Active clear. So, it's a monkey. Models are shallow. You can go to models open room. If so, limit extends to zero, if limit extends to zero, x into one plus a cos x, one plus a cos x minus. B sin x divided by what he has given is f of x whole cube. This limit is 1. This limit is 1 given and given that limit extends to 0 f of x by x equal to 1. Find 
A, B, C. Find A, B, C. So, this means this limit is finite. One value means what? Finite. So, that means rearrange this. Look at it. Limit extends to 0. Limit extends to 0. Now, x into 1. x into 1. x plus ax. Write the series. Write the series. ax into 1 minus x squared by 2 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial. In the denominator, what happens is, look, till where you have to write means, you rearrange like f of x by x whole cube into x cube. Because given that limit extends to 0, f of x by x is 1, right? That means I am rearranging this, f of x by x whole cube into x cube. This limit is what? 1. In the denominator, power is what? x cube. This is 1. So, that means, till... So, 1 more than x cube, that means still x power 4 by 4 factor you write. Minus and so on infinity. Minus b into, minus b into, what is this? x by x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 5 by 5 factorial minus and so on infinity. This limit must be finite. Now rearrange the terms. Limit extends to 0. First constants. There is no x power 0 terms. Constants is not there. Minimum is what x. x terms you take common. Here x take x common. So x common means x common means what you will get 1 here and then plus a here plus a here minus b. Here minus b. X terms. Then next highest is what? X square. X square is there or not? There is no x square also. Is there any x square? If you multiply this, you won't get any x square. Here also there is no x square. Next is what? X cube terms. So x cube terms, what you will get? Look at x cube terms plus x cube into x cube into if you multiply this with uh, x square you will get minus a by 2 minus a by 2 here so plus b by 3 plus b by 3 this you will get x cube b by 6, b by 6, 3 factor is what? 6. This x cube. Next highest is what? Next highest is there is no x power 4. Right? x power 5. x power 5 is what? Just write this. a by 4 factorial a by 24 x power 5. I am taking x power 5 common. x power 5 common a divided by 24. So next x power 5 minus b by 120. Yes. So n of n of divided by x cube divided by x cube. Now split this. Now split this. This limit is given 1. Right, split this. Limit extends to 0. 1 plus a minus b divided by, what is this? x square plus, this divided by this is what? Minus a by 2 plus b by 6. So, this divided by this means, huh? So, x square into a 
by 24 minus V by 120 plus and so on. These all from here X terms will be there. Now look at limit is finite and limit is 1 given. That means so this X square below X term this only one term. That means 1 plus A minus B is what? 0. 1 plus A minus B is 0. Then limit value this limit value is what constant term that means minus a by 2 plus b by 6 that is given what 1 you ready to solve this ap japandi are srujan chapatle in the winter later class hand raise jay swarantesh swarantesh winter later class Swarantesh, raise your hand. Swarantesh, raise your hand. Answer Japali. Hey, Andro. A value, you need it. You need it. A value, B value, can call answer Japali. A equal to. B equal to B equal to minus three by two very good. Hey, okay, under answer, they are active on Ali. Okay, right. Okay, so put the watch in there. Keshav Gupta, what's in there? Keshav Gupta, what's in there? Keshav Gupta, what's in there? Answer. Like the term. If the limit is finite given or limit value is given, these models. Look at one more model. Look at next mode. If limit extends to zero, sin of sin x, sin of sin x minus sin x divided by divided by a x to the power 5 plus b x cube plus c. This is minus 1 by 12. This is limit is minus 1 by 12 given. Then a equal to 2 comma b equal to 0 comma c equal to 1 options are given like this b option a equal to 2 comma b belongs to r comma c equal to 0 
C option. option A belongs to R comma B equal to 2 comma C equal to 0. Look at carefully. Look at carefully. So here if you observe here if you observe immediately if you substitute X equal to 0 x equal 0 if you substitute in this what you will get here sin sin 0 sin 0 is 0 0 minus 0 divided by this is 0 this is 0 this is c this is c now look at you can easily tell about c you can easily tell about c if this c if this c is not equal to 0 Look at if this c is not equal to 0, then what happens? Limit value will be 0. Limit value will be 0. Suppose c let us say 2 value. Then this limit will become what? 0 by 2 limit value will be 0. But this limit value is what? But limit value is minus 12, minus 1 by 12 given means that means c must be 0. From here you can say. From here you can see, right? Because if C is not equal to 0, any value is there. This limit value is not minus 1 by 12, you will get. This limit value you will get 0. But given that minus 1 by 12, that means C not equal to 0 is false. Therefore, C must be definitely 0. In the first step itself, you can say, right? So C must be 0. So that means C is 0. So limit extends to 0. Now this is not ready to write the series. Apply transformation. Sin C minus sin D. Sin C minus sin D. What is that? 2 sin, two, sin C minus sin D is 2 cos. So 2 cos C plus D by 2. C plus C by 2. sin x plus x divided by 2 divided by 2 2 cos c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 this divided by so we have already confirmed that c must be 0 if c is 0 you will get x cube common here x cube common what you will get a x square plus b. c is 0. This c is 0. That c is 0. Right? Now, now what I am doing is here. What I am doing is this 2 cos sin x plus x by 2 divided by this a x square plus b is there. I am applying separate limit for that. So, look at this 2 cos and then this I am applying separate limit for it. Because those are defined now. 2 cos divided by this a x square plus b is there. a x square plus b is there. This I am applying c minus b by 2 means This into this and x cube I am applying in one limit. Divided by x cube. Divided by x cube. Why I have applied separate limit is you substitute 0, you substitute 0, what happens? If you substitute 0, this is 0, this is 0 by 2 means what? 2 cos 0, if you substitute 0, 
you will get this limit finite value 2 by b 2 by b into this sin theta is there i am multiplying and dividing with theta i am multiplying and dividing with theta sin of this is there divided by divided by 2 divided by 2 into into multiply and divide such so that standard limit I can make use of 2 x cube x cube is already there this I have multiplied and divided now this limit is what sin theta by theta limit is 1 limit is 1 So that means this limit comes out to be sin x minus x divided by 2x cube 2 to cancel 2 to cancel this must be this limit must be finite and that limit value is what given limit value is given as Limit value is given as minus 1 by 12. Let us calculate this limit value. So 1 by p. Limit extends to 0. Sin x series. x minus x cube divided by 3 factorial. Plus x power 5 divided by 5 factorial. Minus and so on infinity minus x divided by x cube x cube divided by x cube x x cancel x x cancel that means 1 by b into limit extends to 0 x cube you take common this is minus 1 by 3 factorial plus x square divided by 5 factorial and so on infinity divided by x cube divided by x cube this this so therefore what is the limit value you are getting 1 by b into minus 1 by 3 factorial. That means minus 1 by 6b. Limit value but that is given what? That is given minus 1 by 12. That means b value is what? 2. Already you got c value 0. A there is no a actually. Here itself if we substitute 0. This a into 0 you are getting. That means a can be any real number. a can be. If that limit has to be minus 1 by 12, that does not depend on a. Here a look at, you can substitute any value. This a into 0 will become what? 0. a can be any real number. a can be any real number. Therefore, a belongs to r means what? a can be any real number. So therefore, your required answer is option D. Option D. Required option. Isn't all of